So what you said about portion size is important because if it's huge, then I know that I'm going to be full with all that, all those chips before I get to the burger. So I need to figure that out. So, but if it's a reg regular average portion, then I'll eat all the sides and then I'll go for the burger. And it's gotten to the point where I try and do that more just to annoy Cara. Um, it does. He does stuff to annoy me. <laughs> like, and he also drenches his food in tomato ketchup not or mayonnaise true, and it's true. disgusting like put mayonnaise, it at the side of your plate perhaps. and then you can like dip it in rather but Aaron just throws it all over I would and it rather actually have turns it, my stomach I like to have it and not need it than need it and it not does have stuff it. to annoy so, me like I don't think I don't think one person needs that much sauce no, I, on I their food like but with every little extra bit he knows that he's angering yeah. me think a simple spaghetti boil your spaghetti right. get your mushrooms loads of butter oil garlic make sure so it's basically you make garlic mushrooms you just like fling them in the spaghetti right. and then that's about it because it looks nice if you put a sprinkle of like something green on top it looks professional yeah, a little garnish yes and then i think that's right. what i would do and hey, what about your pudding oh i don't know actually i've put you on the spot there literally I just yeah that up and <laughs> <laughs> i don't know actually probably something Ice cream or something, coconut ice cream. Mm. I'm a big fan of that. Absolutely. Mm. Is that a standard, the spaghetti, like you come in after a night's work, or is that a special? I think it's special because I never cook. <laughs> like you it's like right. the only thing I've cooked. I mean, I cook for myself in Edinburgh, but now that I'm home, it's pretty sweet. I just come home from a hard shift at work, and mm. then it's like dinner's on the table. But that's not real life. Right. So I don't know. Right. But I don't know if it'll feel real till we're there. I don't know if it'll feel real till we come back. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we were on the flight home, and it's like we did yeah. that. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Aye. Yeah. We're, 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 we want to spend anywhere between a year, maybe up to two years in Australia, yeah. potentially. It just depends. We can't possibly say right now how long that'll be. But while we're out there, we want to go to New Zealand for, I don't know, a month. Yeah, we're Six a bit. weeks, two months, yeah. whatever. And then we want to travel back via all these kind of backpacker places like Thailand Vietnam and Vietnam and those and kind of bits and yeah there's a lot of places we Europe want to as see. well there's, I've never yeah. been to Italy so yeah you know. yeah there's quite a lot we want to come, but I think like yeah. people always keep saying like everybody keeps saying to us oh you won't come home but yeah. I think we both know that we'll come home yeah how did that all come about was the, the, the whole sort of concept um, yours or was it sort of team effort um, I don't know, it kind of started as my own because uh, the idea didn't come about as a school format, it was more kind of like uh, an institution, kind right. of like a Handmaid's Tale thing, right. uh, but, right. but not as serious as that, right. it was always going to be a comedy, right. um, until kind of it was narrowed down to a school and then we kind of crewed up, so I was working with Leon the cinematographer right. and Caitlin the designer mm -hmm. and Jack the producer and then we always had this concept and we started working on it together, so like mm -hmm. the visuals of it, mm -hmm. so we kind of had built up kind of the colour palette, the kind of look of the film, the whole idea of like the single shots and stuff before mm -hmm. it was kind of written, because right. I struggled for a really long time to write it right. um, and it was so many different versions because it was set in a private school and then there were so many different sort of, uh, versions of the film there was like it was a gangster film at one point and right. it was like this and that and um, it came to a point where like I was really messing around and the crew were a bit like we really need to like get a move on so uh, it was kind of new year of last year and mm -hmm. um, I came back from holiday and I sat down and mum was like you're taking the piss like out of everyone and you're, you're like you literally just need to write it right. and even my friend Leon who had read all the drafts and had told me how shit they were mm -hmm. he was like you need to uh, you think that there's going to be a lightning bolt and it's going to hit you and you're right. going to just have it but that's not going to happen you've got your work cut it sort of thing exactly yeah. but yeah. joke's on him because it did happen I literally <laughs> literally I sat down and obviously my mum locked me in the room and she's like literally just do it mm -hmm. and I just sat down and like lightning bolt hit and then I just wrote it like literally within like a couple of hours 